think that's it. <laughs> you figure it out. You did? Are, you, are they all live? Yeah, it's working. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I see you. We were trying to figure out how to work it. I've never done this before. Okay. Apparently it's, wor it's working. All right, cool. Can everyone hear me? What's up, Genevieve? How are you guys liking the new song? Norman's daughter, hello. <laughs> yeah, so this is my first time on Instagram Live. It took like five, 10 minutes trying to figure out how to go live. Uh, so just bear with me if I have a problem trying to have people join. So what I wanted to do is just answer some questions and see if I can have some people join in on the chat to ask me a few questions one on one. I'm happy to see you guys are enjoying the song, seeing some really good feedback. Thank you. Before I answer any questions, I'll play the song on uh, here on live. Tell me it's no Cause it keeps in 
So I'm seeing a lot of questions regarding to when the album is coming. So the album comes May 22nd. And I'll, I'm going to play soon. I'll, I'm going to play like two songs from the album so you guys can hear it. Um, but with this song, Confused, this was actually like the first uh, song that was recorded out of the sessions for this album. When I was with Hardy Indigo, he was playing some records to me from, uh, from his laptop, just listening to a lot of different records, just kind of seeing where we want to go as far as direction. In the first session, it was a little kind of just getting comfortable seeing what the energy was and um when i heard this track without any vocals or any uh melody or anything to it i was i was like oh i like that a lot because it had a different feel from the other records i've done it because most of the records i've done were more like pretty chords um even growing up i was also just doing piano my voice playing chords and singing melodies on it so this was more dark and i feel like it showed and then we had darius who's a really good songwriter put something together and everything just turned out really nice with this one and we just kept going we had a good energy we kept creating more songs we created at least 20 i'd say like 20 22 records um and on the project there's 11. Sorry, i just got a call um is it lagging wait let me disconnect from the internet Is the connection better now? All right, so I'm going to answer a few questions. I'm going to invite a few people on. First, I need to figure out how to do that. <laughs> how do you invite people out? They have to call you. Let them call you. So whoever wants to ask you a question, they can request a call and you just accept. Right? Okay. Uh, so I'm accepting a few people. Hey. Hi. Oh my god, I didn't actually think you were going to accept it. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? It's Melissa. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Did you get no a chance way. to hear the uh, my latest song? I have, yeah, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And so if you have any questions... Um, um? I'd love to hear. So, best musical inspiration other than your family members? It's tough, so many. Um, vocally, Sam Cooke, uh, yeah. Johnny Mathis, right. Marvin Gaye, Stevie <laughs> Wonder. Yeah, a lot of, of yeah, a lot of older older artists. Nice, Nat King nice. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm so flustered. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last one? Say again, sorry. I said, what was the last question you said you had? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Um, top five albums. Top five albums. That's hard. Um... <laughs> Mm, top five. I don't know what's from like one to five, but 
albums that have like stuck with me off the wall i'll start of with course. that yeah um and then I, I listen to a lot of film scores like off of soundtrack movies so i can't really put it into like what's my favorite because yeah. i listen to so many classical music uh just lounge bossa nova style music old school just jazz i listen to 40s music 30s even yeah so just like, like 50 yeah so it's yeah for me when people say like what's your favorite artist or favorite song it's it really depends on the mood i'm in or in that situation because i can be uh if i'm sad i listen to a certain type of music if i'm going out somewhere a certain type of music so it really depends on the mood i'm in or like what i'm doing in that situation oh yeah that makes sense that makes sense yeah so i'm i'm gonna invite a few more people in but thank you for your uh, for your question. Yeah, no worries. So nice speaking to you. All right, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Man. You too. Bye. Okay. Um. I'll invite a few more. There we go. Hi, Jafar. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. You yeah, Hi. nice to nice to meet you as well. How's everything going? Um, well, with this quarantine, some days have been easier for me than others. Yeah, no, it's hard for all of us and it's it's mm -hmm. crazy what the times we're going through right now. It's it's, it is. it's it's insane, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it, it it really is. But yeah, I I did listen to your new song, and I I definitely do like it. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I'm glad you do. Yeah, and I look forward and to you guys hearing the, the album. And I heard you listen to a lot of, like, movie soundtracks. Yes. It, yeah. I would say definitely one of my favorites is The Lion King. Yeah, I love The Lion King. Growing up, I, was, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you seen the, the, the one that they did uh, just last year? The, I did see that, the, the most one. recent one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, that was really nice. I enjoyed that. I film. know. Beyonce did such a good job, didn't she? She did, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. Was, I really enjoyed the music and, and what they do with that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I also really like uh, Elton John, too. I I think Elton John did did a couple of the the songs for that one i i think i remember oh, really? i didn't know that oh, wow. yeah i remember there was one he did called uh never too late okay i'll have to check that out uh, I, i'm not really yeah great with i, I titles, remember he did that but one. i'll check it out yeah oh and also okay. um you said you 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 were into uh, Stevie Wonder. Yes. So they don't have to be in any specific order, but uh, can you name five of your favorite Stevie Wonder songs? Yeah. You and I. That's one of my favorites. You and I. Um, isn't she lovely? Yes, uh, about um, Stevie Wonder's daughter. I didn't know yeah. it was about her, his daughter. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, really. It, yeah, isn't she lovely? Is about is about Stevie Wonder's daughter Aisha. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you said you and I, and isn't she lovely? 
Ya, um, superstitious. I, that one, yes. I, that one, that one's nice. Superstition. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that one's that's really a, nice. That's another really, really cool one. Um, mm-hmm. Top five. Hmm. I don't know what I'd put for the last two. What would you do? Uh, one of them for me would definitely be Sir Duke. Sorry, say that That's Sir, another Sir one. one. Sir Duke. That that's another one Sir, that. Steve oh yeah, I've heard that one. Did. Wait. I th- I'm not great with tiles, but I'll I'll check. But yeah. I'm gonna go on and, and invite a few more people and thank you for all right for joining in. Yeah. Yeah, right, nice care. talking to you, Jafar. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Um So a few of you can ask on the chat too some questions, and if I see, I'll answer. <laughs> yeah, you, I see. You guys saw the camera that it flipped. How many songs are going to be in the album? Okay, uh, 11 songs. We created 20, but we chose 11. There were supposed to be 12, but we went with 11. Just to pick, you know, the best, what stood out and made sense as far as a whole project. Yes, the title of the album is called Famous. What's next for you after the release of your album? Um, I'll always continue to create, of course, because of this lockdown and traveling and all the restrictions. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough to put together any shows really soon. Um, hopefully, I don't know how soon that will be, but I would love to do uh, some intimate shows different parts of the world that's something i would like to put together any remixes after the album is released um i'm sure there will be I don't know as of now, but I'm sure there'll be some remixes. What's going to happen to the other nine songs that did not make it to famous? Um, that's a good question. I don't, I'm not sure. They could be used for another project or some I just didn't think were good enough to put out. Because I have, since I was 13, I've, I have at least 50 to 60 songs of just different, like just my voice, acapellas, or just piano, my voice, a lot of different um, producers. Because at the beginning, I was so shy to be in a studio and to really to try and create something. I was nervous because it was new to me. Growing up, I was very sheltered and interacting with people in the studio was kind of 
nerve wracking. So in the early stages, I had to learn just to get that connection, just to make, I guess, have it flow. Um, so starting to work with different people, it really helped me overcome that and to make me feel comfortable with, with uh, creating with those people. So now um, I think I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty, I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not uh, in that stage where I'm nervous being in the studio with somebody or don't know how the session will go. Cause I know exactly what I, what I want from that person or out of that session when I go into it. I'm 23 years old. So I asked that. What genres will be on the album? Um, it'll, it'll be, overall, I'd say it's world, but there's R&B, there's Trap, which you heard with Confused. Uh, there's, I don't want to give everything away. So May 22nd, you, you'll be able to hear. If you could pick any artist to feature, yeah, the question disappeared. I think it said to feature on your album, who would it be? Any artists? Mm, there's so many artists I like nowadays. It really comes down to what that song would be and how that session uh, would come out to be as far as like the connection me I have with that artist. If we write something together or if it's someone that just writes a song and we just meet and sing on it but i'd rather create a song from scratch with that artist so it's tailored fit to both of us i'm happy to see you guys are still enjoying got me singing I'm gonna invite a few more people, and then I'll pl I'll play one or two songs off of the album. No way! Hey, what's up, Jafar? Just wanted to say, uh. The song today was incredible, incredible. Thank you, man. I'm glad you like it. It reminded me a lot of like the weekend, you know. Nice. And that's like probably my favorite artist right now. No, so he's the, very talented. He really is. The vocals. Yeah, he's very talented. Are insane. Thank you, man. I'm glad you enjoy it. So, you're doing like a Q and A type thing right now, right? Yeah, just answering some questions from uh, from the fans and people that have heard the song because mm -hmm. I have a project coming out May 22nd. So just, you know, interacting with, with the people and getting, I'm excited for them to hear the music because yeah. this is my first time putting any music out really. So it's just an introduction to my sound and what I have to offer as far as like for my creativity. Okay. So I just, I just want this to be um, an introduction. So people are familiar with what I have to bring because right. it's just the beginning. This is just, my first project um mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm excited for the long run so like this is obviously going to be your first album right so mm -hmm. what are you expecting like numbers wise you think it's going to be where you want it to be or you think you have like far way ahead of yourself um numbers wise i don't know i'm i'm an independent artist i'm doing everything independent right now so i'm i'm i don't really focus on the numbers i'm more so just creating the best music that makes me feel good, that makes me happy, as long as that those two things are there and me being true to myself, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy with that. And if it makes people feel something as well, because there's so many artists out there that have great music, but it's not mainstream. And they don't, because they don't get the opportunity, opportunity to have that. And there's a lot, I'll admit, there's a lot of music out there that's, you know, garbage. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. And then uh, my last one, so you could get some more people on here. Um, like, what age did you really realize music was what you wanted to do? Or is, I know it's been around you like for your whole life. Yeah, uh, at the age of twelve, 
Okay. Around 12 or 13, I, I was introduced really into music from my father who brought me to mm -hmm. the studio around that time because he gave me a song to sing, which happened to be a Jackson 5 song called Touch. Um, okay. He gave that song to my brother and I and said, I want, you, I want you guys to, I want you to learn it. You have like a week or two to learn it, sing it for me in, in the living room and let's see what you have. So we did that. So we saw potential and he started taking us to the studio ever since then. And I started learning and seeing the whole process, process of creating a song from scratch, seeing what the engineer does and learning all those things, how to be capture some performance uh, away from the microphone or close up, depending on what you want. So all those little things excited me and got me uh, wanting to be involved in it even more and open a whole new door as far as going that way as far with for my career because i was a golfer at first oh, wow. i was on the golf course every day that's crazy every day just training and that was my life i wanted to be the next tiger woods so when i got introduced to music i put golf aside and just put all my focus into music learning how to play piano uh, dancing singing collaborating with writers producers so yeah you think being independent is like 100 times harder in the industry or do you find it a little more relaxed? Um, I, being independent, I, the best I'd say is the freedom because to me, freedom is everything. Being able to create what you want, not having someone tell you how to sound, how to have this type of beat or, you know, I don't like having that over my shoulders. I like doing what I want to do, creating what I want to create and just make it my vision. I don't want people to force that on me, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, thank you for accepting the invite. And for sure, yeah. Good luck, 2020. Big year. Thank you, man. May 22nd, guys. Check it out. It's going to be you. crazy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day. Take care. You too. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm getting more familiar with this Instagram Live now. One second. It says connecting. Wait. I'm going to try somebody else. I'm waiting for someone to join. It's connecting. Yo, hey. what's up? How's it going? I'm fine. How about, how about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Where are you from? Yes, I'm from the Netherlands. Nice. Um, I have a story to tell. You were in the city one day in Rotterdam, I remember. Yeah. And I had class and I, w I wanted to skip class to see you, really. Oh, really? Yeah, that was, oh my God. I was there, what, like, I think it was two years ago when I was in Rotterdam. Yes, you were downtown, I believe. Yeah, because my father he and his uh, my uncles, they had a show there. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, they had a show there. So we were there for a couple of days. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I have a question for you. Um, if you could describe your album um, with one word, how would you call it? If I can describe what? Your album with one oh, word. Oh, my album in one word? Yes. That's hard. Uh, one word. Mm. Mm. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> one you don't word. know? It's because I don't, in one word, 
I'll have to look at words that can define <laughs> uh, I don't know, I understand. all the different I understand. sounds uh, that I feel like what it, it makes me feel for that album. So, But really, in a short sentence, I can say that what this album means to me, it's, it's all what I've learned and experienced just learning from at the age of 12 up until now, putting all mm -hmm. that into this project. So it came from a place of just experiencing and and learning and love and things I've gone through and putting it into my first project. I'm sorry, that's longer than one, a little sentence, but because it's more than just one word, I feel so mm -hmm. it's hard to do that. Uh, it's so cool, so cool, so cool. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for the album, really, really excited. Your first uh, song got me uh, got me singing. I really played it over and over again over and over again really Thank and if you. that and if that song's not playing on my wedding i'm not coming really <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad really you like song, it Thank i really you. love the song Thank and last you. the last question the last one okay. do right. you do you know this <laughs> that's from the simpsons yes you yeah. remember the episode no no what episode is that uh, <laughs> it's with your uncle, really. Oh, okay, no, yeah. I don't think I've seen that episode, honestly. Nah, all I have right. to check it. Out. <laughs> I have to check it out. But uh, thank you for uh, inviting me for your uh, uh, life right now. I'm really can't wait for your album, bro. Thank you, and I look forward to you guys hearing it. And uh, I'll do another live once the album is out. So I'll see what you guys think. It's cool, bro. Thanks a lot, man. All right, take care. Thank you. See you. Yeah, I've never seen that episode. Um, I'll check it out on YouTube. The album comes out May 22nd, just in case people are just now coming into the live. It comes out May 22nd. Okay, I'm gonna play a song off of the album. Let me see which one. Uh, I'm going to play a song called Night Rider. It was one of my favorite songs in the project, depending on, it's between surf, another one, but I'll, I'll go into that later. Wait, one second. Yeah. 
So that one's Night Rider. I know Yannicka wanted me to play that one. Yeah, that, that one's a nice one to drive to and listen to at the same time. Uh, I'll play one more. Let me see. <laughs> um. <laughs> what should I play? <laughs> yeah, so I'll play this is the intro of the album um, I'm saying <laughs> I know Genevieve and Maddie want me to play Where Are You okay I'll play Adam Zeeve in like 30 seconds of Where Are You so Adam Zeeve is the intro of the album so here goes for it. Thank 
play um, a little bit of Where Are You? Just a little bit. This one was inspired by uh, New Jack Swain, Teddy Riley. Thanks, Liz. Yes, so I was. I was. Um, I would uh, play the whole thing, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> I don't want to play all the all the songs. People are asking if I can play famous. I'm I'll, I'm gonna say famous for May twenty second. I think that um, I want to say that one. I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, no, I can't wait. This music has been finished <laughs> since last year, so I'm relieved to put it out. It's been finished. So I have 10 minutes left before this ends, so. Um, I'll answer a few more questions. And then I'm, I'll do another live when the album comes out. I'll play all the songs and 
do the same thing I'm doing now. <laughs> oh, man, you're too funny. The album will be on Spotify, yeah. And Apple Music. All digital streaming platforms. So someone's, I'm late to the live. When does the album come out? May 22nd. What is your favorite song to perform? Uh, I haven't performed any of these songs yet, so I don't know yet. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see, but I know which ones will be as far as what I want to do with them. Um, the dances and the production. So I have it in my head as far as seeing, feeling that reaction or of an audience. I don't know what my favorite will be until that happens. What inspired your choice of music style? Hmm. It's, I think it's a, a combination of all the music I've listened to growing up and really just sitting at the piano and just messing with chords and progressions that, you know, resonate with me and make me feel something. Which ones will get a video? there will be a video to confuse. Um, I have other ideas as well for other songs. But right now, because of this lockdown and everything, um, it's pretty tough to, you know, to, to shoot videos and all that. So My favorite instrument to play is the the piano, yeah. I tried learning guitar. It's a little hard. I learned a few chords, bossa nova style, but I'm not that great. Hurricane will not be on the album. Someone asked that I did Hurricane like five, six years ago. That I really enjoyed writing that song and and singing it. But no, we we chose not to put that one on this project. Just sonically, it wasn't what I was going for. Do you want to go on tour with that album? Uh, of course, I mean, my dream would to be, you know, would be to go on tour and to perform for you guys and just to get that energy and feel feel that in different places around the world. That's a dream of mine, just to travel the world, start doing shows, connecting with the fans. And so I, I really do look forward to that. Um, will it be released in the coming years? I think... Uh, they're talking about Hurricane. Yeah, it's something I could put out. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be released as an official single or anything, but I have a lot of songs that I can just put out that didn't make it. Which song on the album do you feel the most personal attached to? Okay, uh, what song? Famous. That I'd say that one. And Reverie. I didn't play those any of those yet, so you'll have to hear it. But Famous, I'd say, is because it's the most. It's 
it's basically a song that um, talks about what I had, what I've had to deal with growing up with my last name and the challenges that brings, you know, so kind of, I don't want to give too much away, but um, yeah, once, once you guys hear it, I, I hope, uh, I hope you like it and, and hope, um, and hope you like Reverie as well. Reverie is a song, it's an idea I had See, I'm, I don't want to give everything away. I'm, I'm, I have to catch myself. But I've been doing a live um, that day and explain each song. And so you guys can have an idea of what inspired that. But I don't want to do it now because it's not out. And I don't want to give it away. Would you work with Rodney Jerkins? Of course. Yes, I've worked with him once, and that was incredible. Definitely will. He's, he's a genius. What time will Famous drop? The time? Um, I'm not too sure. I think it's the same time confused and got me singing which is like 9 p.m uh, my time because i live in california so i don't know how it is for the rest of the world but i believe yes thursday it'll be thursday that thursday night yeah i'm not sure how much time i have left but i think this is going to end any uh any minute But I just want to say thank you to everyone that tuned in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the songs I previewed and look forward to the album. So be on the lookout and I'll be on live again. Before I go, I'll play what you guys have been listening to for almost a year, but I'll play Got Me Singing. <laughs> I'm on my way You guys for tuning in so i'll be back on here um 
I think, yeah, two weeks from now, May 22nd. So thank you guys again. Thank you for the questions. Next time I, now I know a little more about how to work Instagram Live. Thank you guys. All right, take care. I'll be back on here soon. See ya.